What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual back with another <clears throat> banger today, guys, with a very special vid. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm turnt. I'm sorry, I'm loud. But we have the Tony D2 Wild collection video man this is the highly the most highly requested video in my whole entire youtube career this video has to be this this has to hit a million views it has to if it doesn't i gotta i gotta delete my channel man you feel me this video has to hit a million views by 20 21 like the end or something December like in a, a year from now I expect this to be at like at least at least 600,000 at least if it if it didn't man I gotta go and say this didn't age well you know what I'm saying it's gotta be one of those comments but this has been the most highly requested video that I've ever gotten the full-on sneaker collection video man seven years and se six seven years in the making of sneakers in and out in and out pickups left and right the journey has finally came to this point right now. You're going to see every single shoe in my collection that I have gathered over the years. Some have went out and been sold, of course, but trust me, there's a lot. You are now inside of the lair of Tony D2 Wild and his collection. And I'm sorry I'm speaking in third person because I hate that, it sounds kind of weird. Let me just, man, look, this collection consists of five different rooms. Those five rooms are in three levels. We're gonna take you down to the garage to start things off. Let's ride. All right, guys, so we are here. Finally, the sneaker collection video and we are on the first floor of the house. The sneaker collection is throughout all levels and the higher you go up, the better it gets. You feel what I'm saying? So we're gonna start it off here in the garage and these are a lot of the oldest pieces in my collection. A lot of stuff that I need to figure out what to do, whether I'm gonna sell it or whether I'm not gonna keep it or give it away. It's a lot of stuff and there's a lot of bangers in here as well as a lot of these things you might not even know I actually have. And like I stated before, maybe I stated in the beginning or not, but a lot of shoes that are in this collection, I'll be listing also on my Two Wilds closet as we go through here, we see everything. There's gonna be a lot of things that I might have not worn in years that I might no longer want. So feel free to click the link down below in the description, Two Wilds Closet, and maybe the shoe that you saw that I no longer want, you can have. All right, start things off, man. Right here, Adidas, Climacool. You also have a pair of Customs here, and I believe this is from my boy, British Customs. This is a Jordan 1, which I forgot the original name of it. It was this, the Jordan 1 Wings that, you know, you can rub them off and there's like, comes with this gold underneath it, but he made it with the SMPL logo on it. Dope airbrush style. These are really dope, man. Huge shout out to British Customs. I actually need to put these up in my office just as a centerpiece, you know, on the wall. We also have some Climacools. These are one of the first time that Adidas brought back the Climacool model, old school model. And they actually used this shoe in a upcoming commercial I got with Adidas coming out soon. Stay tuned on the Adidas confirm that, or, you know, see more about that. Moving along though, um, right here we just have a Sample pair of Sockenies, 500 Shadows. This is like a sample I actually got when I went out on that trip. I don't know if you can see it, but it says sample on the actual thing, men's sample. Um, we also have a pair of Jordan 5 Fire Reds right here. We actually, uh, my bad, not Fire Reds, these are the Black Toes. We actually have another pair of those as well once we go upstairs. So, start things off at the top. I also got my stand, you know what I'm saying? I gotta get up top and get high up, you know what I'm saying? Just to make things easier. So this right here, guys, is the Sockany Collection video that, the Sockany Collection I did with my boys. All 10 of us are in here. I think I'm probably not in here because it's nine of them. This is the Sockany uh, Originators Only collaboration we all did. The first one, we got Hess Kicks. I keep them, man, I still got them, you know what I'm saying? Got Hess Kicks right there. We got Bulls pair right here. We got, I think this DJ Dells' pair right here. We got another one, let's see what we got, man. We got, this is Eddie Wynn's pair right here. We got my man Sneaker, Sneaker, Sneaker Shouts pair right there, yep. We got, this is, oh my, this is Eddie Wynn's. Okay, my bad. This is Eddie Wynn's. So then who is this? Oh, this is your aunties. This is your aunties, my bad. This is your aunties, the, gr the green, the great, uh, the green machine, the green wall, the big wall, I forgot the name of it. Your aunties big time in baseball, so I know now. My bad, Eddie Wynn, I know y'all both had that green color. We have here, this is the T. Blake. Fomer Simpson and Young Buckets. And last but not least, this is the Sneaker 
head in the bay out of my man Alex, man. So I full, the full on collection is still in my possession in my size for those guys, you feel what I'm saying? We're gonna step down a little step because uh, Nikki, this is empty box. Empty box means you'll see it later on in the video, so don't worry. Empty box are right there, and you should probably know what those are. If not, you'll know later on. We got here some Curry 3s, dead stock. I got like two pairs of those. I actually have a pair upstairs that I actually work out in. You know what I'm saying? Y3 Boost QR, back when Y3 was big. I have a pair of these. These things ran me about $250, $300. Extremely expensive in my opinion. Even back then it was. The Grid SD, now I forgot the name of this one. I think it was like a brick colorway. I don't know if this is a Halloween one or not. And then, oh, hold on. Oh, this is here? The Jordan 11 Low IE Obsidian. I bought this out in Hong Kong. I remember talking about this recently. I wanna, supposedly in 2021, the OG colorway is releasing. So I'm looking forward to getting my hands on that when I can. We got some more stockings right here. Bam, this is a Snow Chill, Snow Breeze, Dirty Snow, I think it's called Dirty Snow V3 or something, the 2.0 version. One of my favorite. This video had a ton of views. This is the cream, like Atlanta Braves colorway. That actual review I did did extremely well. Size 10, I don't know what this is. Sale Black Dark Mocha. We'll see it a little bit later on in the video because it's empty down here. Puma, stamp collaboration. Back on my Puma vibes, back on that. You know, that, that's just the swag back then. Uh, EQT two thirds, real nice pure boost shoe. Very, very comfortable. It's happening in the moment, man. What is this? Ooh, cool gray eight. I don't know why they're down here. They need to be on my feet more often. We got down here some SBs. What are these? The 31st state. In Nike SB 31st state in California. Got right here Kyrie five. I think this is the five. All star. Rocket, the Rocket collaboration. I think, is it, I think this is the Rocket collab. He did a Rocket collab. You have also, let's see, Jordan 5 Oreo. I don't know why that's down here, but I need to, I need to, I need to go through and, and figure out what's going on. Asics. Nice pair of Asics. This is dead stock scene, you know what I'm saying? A pair of Pumas. This is an all-star ad, the all-star ASG fade, uproar. This was sent to me from Puma back when they first had dropped. Snipes, another sock in the collab. This shoe is horrendous. I don't even know, that, yeah. God damn, this one is another one. This is like, this is when I get, I'll probably hold on to these so when I turn 50 or something, I can rock them. Cause they're pretty comfortable, I know that, but you gonna catch me in the street block rocking that. Uh, 50th anniversary Puma, suede, some more sock in these. G9s, controls, OG right there. Did a video, I remember doing that review in the actual park. I kept these for a minute. Rose gold, you like those? No, 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 be honest. Nope, okay. I just know you like rose gold, damn. Even if they rose gold. Nike, Ultra Boost, Fly, fly Net Ultra Boost. O fly Net Ultra, whatever, yeah. Nike Air Presto Fly Net Ultra. So, here we go. Now, we got some champ boxes. You are, OG, you know that champ's always been around, man. Paid in full, these are the Nike 5.0s. Um, was it? I, I killed these. Gym, everything, man. I need to pull these back out for the gym because we got a gym. Ooh! COVID, no COVID over here. We have a gym on the way though. Jordan Low Futures. And then Kobe 9 Christmas. Yes, sir. I've, I've actually balled in them. You know what I'm saying? That my stuff is on them. Even though I suck at that. We got the, this is a Cam Newton collab. Cam Newton 24 karat ride. I think it like resembles his like Cadillac or something of that matter. Dope piece, you know what I'm saying? Haven't rocked them, but something I just want to keep this for purposes that will, you know, down the road, you never know. Another big boy box. Never rocked. Oh, Jordan 2 and Converse All-Star collab. This is like when they did the Shoes that like for Jordan, for Jordan, you know, Jordan played in the Converse and all that. In celebration of Michael Jordan's love for the game, Jordan Brand and Converse can collaborate on a special two pack celebrating the two iconic silhouettes that MJ wore in his early career. So, yeah. These actually go for like retail last time I checked or even below retail. I can't fold it, so I'll do it later. Feli, this is a disruptor. You know what I'm saying? I haven't really rocked those at all. I ain't gonna cap. Some, uh, some things right there. 
Ken Griffey's uh, Salt Waters. Salt Waters, I believe so, the Marriott. We got in here a Sonic the Hedgehog collaboration. One of the shoes is not in here, okay. The other one, let's see. Yes, um, Dr. Egg, Egg, Eggnog. Dr. Eggnog, Dr. 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 Damn, I forgot his name, man. I know I'm not saying it right. It's not Eggnog, Dr. Egg. The evil guy, man. <laughs> Dr. Spunnik, and there's two, he got two names. He got one and then his dad, is, his dad is the other one, but they look alike. All right. More in the corner, man. After we get through these, it gets like it gets it gets it gets, it gets more and more interesting. So we're, we're just in the beginning. Ultra Boost. These are all white Ultra Boost, I think. This straight up all white Ultra Boost. We got a pair of Dead Stock. Um, he got games wrapped up from like 2013 or something. I haven't worn them. I don't know why. Uh, I kept them on ice. Prime knit joints, basketball. I actually bought in these. Great pair of basketball shoes. We got penny fives. It says penny five, four. My bad, penny fours. I'm happy I still have these because I was I was wondering about this recently if I still had them. These is like a crazy brand, Alex uh, Al, a, Axel Arigato or something like that. Some like designer stuff. There's some. They're they're wild. I haven't worn them yet. I think me and Bull both got sent something by this guy a while back. You got Air Force One Mid Retro Premium. I know I still have these. These are crazy quality. Like this is like the jewel joints. And a uh, mid version. Sockney Grid SD. Piss yellow. We got a pair of Fly Knit Cookies and Cream. I think these are the Cookies and Cream joints. Uh, this is like the Freddy Krueger Nutsat looking shoe. Uh, Puma Rocket Runner. We got another pair of curries on that. So I'm, talk, I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all got into a ride. Now y'all just started. We got another pair of Sockenies. These are uh, SD grids, SD 5000. This is the brick, this is actually the brick. It's pretty dope, it had like a great look on it, on the actual shoe. What these are, oh, Puma, uh, uh, Reebok, uh, Instant, Soul Fury. Another Dirty Snow type. Select, this is the uh, Letterman 2.0. Has like a Letterman on it. I think I had the original ones or I might have sold the original one. Michael Vicks. Another socket right here. J uh, Jack the Jazz joints. I don't know what this is. This like I think, I think these were the peanut butter and jellies. That's what they called them. That mine, I was wrong. Those were the peanut butter and jellies. There's another one. Jason Kids, EQT Pusha T. Another dope shoe in my opinion right here. Patrick Ewan, staple collab. I like these a lot, just haven't worn them unfortunately. All right, next up, we got a Reebok. These are the Kendrick Lamars with the red and the blue split. I had the original ones, I sold them. I got these and I kept them. And the Kendrick ones. These are the uh, Jamal Crawford crossovers. I think, shout out to my man, Nightwing. He might have pushed uh, Brandon Black to come send me these. I'm not too sure, but Brandon Black sent those over. Shout out to my man, Shoe Butter, forever. You know what I'm saying? Jordan 12 right there. These are the Chinese New Year Jordan 12s. He got these over from the Philippines. Sent them to me as a gift from over there. Salute to my man, Shoe Butter. I never, I never rocked them. I kept them. I mean, I keep them forever, but I still have yet to rock them. Still dead stock from the Philippines too. All right, we got right here Jordan Eight. This is the, I think the Chromes, right? This is the Chrome. Mm -hmm. Yep, Nicole, you got those Chromes. Is this Nike Air Force Two Seventy? I remember I went crazy about these back when they originally dropped. I was all about these. Got a pair of Jordan Thirteen Playoffs. I hope they bring these back, man. They need to bring these back already. These are just, I got condoms in there. That's back when me, before me and Nikki met each other. No, why this Oh man. Reebok, um, I think these are the Reebok Phillies. They remind me of the Will Smith, I remember. It's like a Reebok classic and it was like a, yeah, this was like a Philly one. They had different, they had like a city pack. They did different cities. And this was one of those right there. Whew. Polaroid collab with Puma. Dead stock. I think, okay, this is a Snups. 
Snup sent me something. This is from Sophie Sos, I think her name is. She did it. It was from it was from Snups. They bought the all the all white four, I think, and then they sent it to her to make it for me. And uh, I was back when I was doing a lot of partnerships with Snups. Salute to Snups, and uh, it was like a little you know little gift from them to me. Crazy uh, shoes from this company called As If. All these good. They just look like crazy damn snow boots. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Did not know these were in here. I definitely need to pull these out. Probably a little bit too late. The Flax Highs. Air Force One Flax Highs. This is the Puma RS. RS, uh, let me see, RSO. I think it's like hard. It was some, I forgot the name of this one. Game Over, I think it's Game Over. Puma Clydes. Mm -hmm. This, huh? What, you don't like them? No. Oh. This what Russell had something like these on the other day. Puma Clyde's uh, Wraith, the Wraith. Nike SB, it's kept them. They like Atlanta Braves colorways. I like them a lot. Nike SBs before the SBs exploded. Another Puma 50th anniversary shoe. It's the high, this is the Puma Classic, the Puma Sky Classic joint right there. All right, getting close. We got also, the Jordan 11 Low Nightshade, Nightshade. Snake skin, nut sacks all on that thing, man. We got a Adidas Stan Smith with Stan Smith's picture on it. All suede it out, you feel me? LeBron 10 Charlotte, I think, or the, the Charlotte, or this is called the LeBron 10 um, Lake Summit, I think. Maybe it's the Lake Summit, the Lake Summit version. No, this is the, this ain't the 10, this is the 11, I think. This is 11 or 12 or something. I don't know which one this one is. Came with a whole damn hat and socks and everything, too. Which one is this? Uh, I think it's the Lake, the Lake Summit Hornets. That's what it was. But, you know what I'm saying? Still got that. Oh, here it is right here. 11. The LeBron 11. The LeBron 11 Summit Lake Hornets. That's what it is. From Adidas EQT. You know what I'm saying? Nice zebra. I worn those before, but you guys are seeing now what I'm talking about. Where I gotta pick and choose my battles, bro. We just in the first part, like we're not even in like the real part yet. This is like an appetizer, bro. It's a good appetizer though. Adidas Ultra Boost High Mids or something like Ultra Boost All ter Terrain. Got these in uh, Australia. You remember this bag? You remember getting these in? We in Australia got those. Probably don't. Um, these are the Gary V's. K Swiss. I already showed that Insta Pump Fury. That's another one I think. I don't know. A6. Call these like the eight Atlanta Hawks joints because they have the old school Atlanta Hawk look to it. This is like a um, Diablo. Sell the, uh, another A6 Diablo from Champs. Penny two. I'm happy I still got these two. Okay. Penny two on deck. Got the Adidas. I think these are the like. Yeah, the crazy BYWs, Brist Bristol. These are nice, man. I just haven't worn these, huh? Yeah, I just haven't worn them because they were too nice looking. Honestly, that's the only reason why. Like that, they just look nice to me. Another shoe that has no business being out here, but it is Jordan Four Black Denim. Huge shout out to Gordon. I still got them, Gordon. You know what I'm saying? And these are the these aren't the blank ones though. These are the blank ones. Yes, it's the blank one. I think there's like one with the Levi's, one with that one, just a blank. I don't know if the blanks are more expensive or is it, you got the, they're, they're different though. On StockX, they sell different. Air Force One PlayStation, dead stock, you know what I'm saying? You almost done, Cole. Your arm's about to break. POD, the original POD OG. We got the other POD. It's like a I think this is a sample, maybe not. When they gave us these out in London, th th those hadn't released yet. A6, another old school, like one of my first reviews on YouTube is of this shoe right here, first one ever. And uh, some other uh, avenue to explore and the whole sneaker thing. So this whole sneaker collection, community, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I just love buying kicks, man, that's just me. We got a uh, Jordan 7 cigar. I believe this is a cigar. Or is it the champagne and cigar? CNC, I think it's the champagne and the cigar. Nike, woo! Air Tech Challenge 3s, Phoenix Suns, Nike React. These, I definitely need to pull out. Perfect, man, one of the best, like, this is the best trainer shoes. Like, if you're trying to run, 
you're trying to work in the gym, those right there, phenomenal. Like, those give to me, per me personally, they give Adidas Boost the one for their money. And then the last shoe in the garage is the Jordan 31 contract, I think it's called. Love of the game clause. Okay. And that gave him the right to play whenever, wherever, and against whomever you please. Something, yeah, non-negotiable. So, fine print. It's inspired by the ink and paper of the contract and a rendering of Michael Jordan's signature as it would be appeared on those contracts. So, this was from Jordan Brand. I was sent this. Shout out to my man, Mike, man. Mike, Mike, Mike M. I'm not going to say his full name because he might not want all that. Shout out to my man, Mike from Taylor. Back in the day from Taylor. What up from Taylor? Mike from Taylor. Sent those out and we played those in Atlanta at the Sneaker Con. Whew. Stage one, complete. All right, guys, so you got your appetizer. You see what's going on. We was in the garage. A lot of little gems in there that's been sitting for quite some time that I need to go through and get. And the second room is a lot more that I have to go through and get. And like I stated in the video, guys, Two Wilds Closet. Click the link down below in the description after this video or pause this video and go over there. I am loading up that page with a lot of stuff for spring cleaning. It's time that I just get some space, get some room. You. You guys see that I don't really got that right now. And it's been just six years of just adding and adding and adding. Yes, I might sell one, two, three, four, five, ten 10 shoes a year, but I'm pulling in 30, 40 shoes a year. It don't really hit a dent. But with that being said, let's now take it up to the second level, first room on that level, and that is the loft. All right, guys. Ooh. We got that garage. You made it to round two. There is one, two, three, four, five. So you got four more rounds to go. Hope you enjoyed your stay. It's time to turn up now. Let's get it. All right. This whole section, this whole little loft section is a lot of things that I'm actually selling right now that's already been on the site. Some things have also are things that I recently unboxed and I needed to put them. I usually put these in another room and they stack up and I kind of find out what I do with them afterwards. There's a lot of stuff. So I'm having to figure out like, am I gonna keep this? Am I gonna sell this? Am I gonna give it away? Or where am I gonna store it? Cause I'm running out of space. So let's start it off and I'll show you. Bam. These are the Nike Joyride uh, set setters right there. You know what I'm saying? Real nice shoe. I honestly have not worn it enough. This is the new technology with the beads and whatnot that Nike brought around. They're pretty cool. $180. The price point's not cool. You know what I'm saying? I'll start up here, actually. Um, we got here. These are recently new. Like I said, these are something I'm going to keep. The Reebok Shaq Gnosis. These are the, the uh, Shaq Webs or the Webs or something like that. The Web. They called it the Web. This is the Halloween, the uh, Boktober edition right here. So something dope, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Reebok for that one. They also, this is actually from Champs and Reebok, I believe. This is a uh, Kamikaze. Uh, I forgot the name for this one. Crazy Kazi or something like that. Another one of the Reebok special, you know, Halloween joint right there. Pumas on deck, tons of Pumas. Got a Puma, this is the RS, uh, this is the Unity, the RS. X Unity, I believe this is the RSX. RSX Unity, kind of very similar to the Toys, which is an OG colorway. We have another Puma. This is the Future Rider, I believe. Street Rider of the Unity collab. They have a lot of Unity collabs, which is just unifying all the countries and people around the globe. I believe this is a, oh no, this is another Street Rider. Uh, Future Rider Play On. So many riders. I like riders. Huh? My bad, sorry. PG-13. We got Adidas here on deck. You know what I'm saying? This is another Stan Smith um, Super super Stan. So I guess like it's a superstar Stan Smith kind of like mixture and mix up right there. Around the back, we go over here. This is the uh, the day, the day, but not the mid, the night. Uh, gel, Puma gel cell, night or something, nighttime, night sky. We have another Ralph Sampson Low Unity. You know what I'm saying? Some, some. We got the Kawhi Leonard joints. The Jolly Rancher, Kawhi Leonard signature one shoe, you know what I'm saying? Something, something. And then we got some other from that Jolly Rancher collab, which was the the uh, clubs, the, the New Balance BB480, that's what it is. Jolly, Jolly Rancher one, I like these a lot. I actually need to probably pull these out in the springtime this year. Something I definitely wanna keep these around. And then there's another one, is the uh, Cal Calibat, the lifestyle model they buy. I don't know what this is. It's like the Cal the Calas Cal Calasus or some weird name. I'm not really a fan of the model, but the, the model in hand kills the actual picture. I love the actual shoe. It's dope. It's great. Something from Chance right here. I don't know what this is. Oh, these are one of my first ever 
shoes from Champs, the Jordan one, not the, not the Jordan Jumpman, Team Jordan Jumpman. Champs sent this one to me. I think they sent one to Jumpman Bostic as well. Very, 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 very blessed. One of the first ever people that Champ sent something out to, and that was one of the first ever shoes. We got some Jordans here, some Dove Zeros. Check them out. Jordan Dove Zeros from back in the day. These are some like, these are high school specials right there, bro. Like everybody had those back in the day. So we got some more shoes down here. Forgive us, we have a, a person that just loves to get some attention right now, all right? So we got the RS Dreamer right here. This is uh, the shoe, this is, um, these are J. Cole's uh, shoes, like his signature shoe right here. Um, for, forgive me, J. Cole, I know exactly who you are. I mean, you bro, you got you light skin with dreads, bro. But this is like his first uh, signature shoe. I think these are dope, man, and it being his first one, extremely, extremely dope. We also got, yeah, man, you know, wait. These are Seth Fowler's first pair of shoes. Now, I forgot the name, how you pronounce the actual name of the shoe, but this was a shoe that Seth Fowler sent me that he designed and created himself. Extremely lightweight, great quality suede, or yeah, suede, new bucks, and leather. Um, amazing quality. Something I'm gonna definitely wanna rock in the springtime and show some support to my brother Seth, man. So, salute to him. Seth, thank you. I just got his new socks in as well that I need to check out. I can't do an unboxing on. These were sent by Adidas. These are actually a retro of the Ultra Boost that we saw in the garage. You remember that Ultra Boost we saw in the garage, guys? These are the retros of them that Adidas released, I think, earlier this year or maybe late last year. It's been very, very recent, so it wasn't that long ago. Well, moving over here, empty box, empty box. Woo, what's these? I don't know, coming soon. Um, we got some stuff right here. I'm not really a fan of these. These are, they're not that bad, they're just, I like the other Connecticut, the Connecticut joints that you'll see later on in the video. Not a big, big fan of those, but they're not bad. They're not horrible or nothing. It's not a huge fan. We have another Adidas collab, not collab, Adidas Champ Sports, I guess, collab in a way, of the Pro Sphere. We haven't seen this shoe a lot at all recently. Kind of like, kind of stopped out of nowhere. Um, we saw, I think last, last time I saw it was with the Dragon Ball Z stuff. So, you know, it is what it is. Cool box though, dope, dope. Then we got right here, a special package from Adidas. On some NMDs. And this dope packaging, dope looks, you know what I'm saying? Pen pad, you know, something they sent over. Salute to them. These is another. This is Adidas right here. We got uh the milk and cookies or something like that. Milk and cookies from Adidas. Cookies and cream or cookies and milk or something. There's actually some cookies in here, bro, like they're dead. We got to like, clean this. Uh, somebody's outside, guys. The dogs are alerted. You know what I'm so yeah, man, this is a dope package from Adidas as well. Then we got down here. I don't, did we do these? I don't think we did. We did it. All right, so we got some Pumas. Another Puma Unity. I actually got Puma Unity. Uh, this is the Street Rider. And the Unity. We got a Puma RSX. I don't know, just regular color. I think I forgot the name of that one. Ralph Sampson Low Women's Day. This is for the Women's Women's Day version. I got one. Nicole got one. And another Future Rider right there. From New Balance, we got from the network. This is a uh, emotion. I think it's the emotions. The Omni One emotions. Another collab that was done with Kawhi Leonard before his signature shoe came out. Reebok Classic. That same shoe, different color. Right here. I, I was doing a. I, these are classic, classic Reeboks. I was gonna do a video for this, but unfortunately, it hasn't came out yet. Another. Unity, I don't know, like they sent me like the same damn shoes, man. But that uh, eliminates stage number two. Now it's, oh, forgive me. Question mids, rookie of the year, I think. Kobe, 30, 33,000 points, ID, EQT. Kaiza, Kasai, Kaiza, Kaiza, Kaza, well, I forgot the name of the Y3 joints. Now the games begin. It's This is where it's at. This, like I said, was stuff that I'm debating whether or not to sell it, keep it or not. The stuff downstairs, I don't know what's going on with it. It got lost, I gotta find it, like basically. Now you're gonna see the old school stuff, the new school stuff, and the dope stuff. All right, y'all, so y'all saw the garage, you saw the loft. The loft has a lot of stuff that's really like in a like purgatory stage. It's something that like I'm trying to figure out what I wanna do with it. Do I wanna store it? Do I wanna put it up? Do I wanna put it on my feet? Do I wanna sell it? Don't, don't wanna give it away, you know, it's kinda like something I'm trying to really figure out at this time. And best believe that a lot of this stuff, it need to go. You know what I'm saying? Click the link down below if you wanna check it out, you feel me? But now, it's time for the dinner. It's time for the main event, you feel me? The next room got the bangers. 
The next room is the guest bedroom. The guest bedroom has a lot of the OG sneaker pickups that I picked up three, four years ago that's been sitting, just chilling. It got value, you got some dope, dope GR, some dope, dope bangers that are hype releases, limited releases. All the good stuff, man. All the stuff that's been like kind of something in the beginning of my collection, you're gonna witness now in the guest room, man. Let it ride. All right, y'all, so you, you see, this is the other room, this is, a lot of stuff in here as well. A lot of mixtures of stuff as well. A lot of Jordans, a lot of Nikes, a lot of some Adidas, some of Pumas, but a lot of Jordans and stuff in here. So, um, yeah, you're going to see a lot of old shoes in here, man. Let's get into it, man. Start over here in the corner, I guess, and work our way down. First shoe is an Adidas Ultra Boost. Um, this is a custom I made back in the day with the gold plated. Adidas wanted me to make a little custom version of it. I made the gold plated one in neon colors. And yeah, I made it. Adidas like ID type joint. And um, pretty dope, pretty dope. All right, so we have here the satin shattered one, the 3.0 joint or whatever, you know, super clean in my opinion. Got a pair of Tim's, all black with the tan top. About that time, it is that time. It is that time. We got here from Reebok, question mid. This is a dip set collaboration piece, real clean. Just haven't worn it, but it's clean, it's dope. I'm keeping it. Ferrari 14s, the OG, the original. The first time I remember joining Chargers $200 for a pair of shoes, but yeah, man, those were the days, man. 200 is normal now, huh? Another RSX. This was a shoe I did, I think like an infrared or something. I had did like some, some uh, like a collab with Puma on that, like a picture promotion or something like that. And we got here from, Re uh, from Adidas. Night Jogger. I think this might be like the first Night Jogger, like the OG Night Jogger right here. Very, very clean, nice color. I love the Night Jogger. Got a pair of Vans Skate High reissue. This is like a waxed type of uh, canvas. Had these for about five years now. Real clean. Reebok right here, like a classic Reebok. Reebok Fury, Pump Fury. Uh, yeah, Inst Insta Pump Fury. The OG colorway too, by the way. Real classic. I think these things retail for like or something they were, they were pretty damn expensive all right moving over here we got the pointer joints i like these i just don't wear them enough but you know if i need to dress up or something like that i have something damn i got cat hair on it like cinnamon's hair on this damn shoe mm -hmm. it's my old cat that passed away her hair so she must have gotten to this box but real good quality you know see i think i got this from like asos or something or urban outfit or something like that real nice you know i don't wear it enough but it is what it is air commands air command force the Billy Hoyle joints, white man can't jump, you know what I'm saying, OG joint right there. Nike box, Safari, Air Max 1 Safari, uh, Safari joints, I think the 2.0s or whatever, the recent one, huh? Yeah, those recently, those recently that came out. We got uh, RSX, are these the toys? These are the toys. These are the original RSX that dropped the toys. These people went crazy after these. I believe those are the toys. They look just like them. The Lodge Pack. This is the first Saucony I've ever, I ever like purchased or owned. And this is the shoe that kind of started it all with me and them. I bought this shoe. And after that, man, T. Blake hooked me up with them boys. And the rest was history. Real good shoe. Quality, like a wool material. And just the whole pack and everything about it. I think Yo Auntie actually did like the actual promotion with it. And it was extremely dope. Oh, we got here the Jordan 31 All-Star. New Orleans. This was the one we did in New Orleans. I think, yeah, the New Orleans joints. The All-Star joints. Actually, I was the one wearing the 30, 31s, I think. Me and Bull did a blog, like a, a blog thing with Jordan brand, and they had us wear the 31s and the 6s. Jordan 12. Um, these are the Jordan 12 playoffs. We have not seen this shoe retro in a very long time. And these are dead, but Jordan brand. Playoff 12s? You've been giving us taxis to give us the give us the playoffs already. You know what I'm saying? I don't think we've gotten no meantime zone. These are the Thunder Skeptas, I believe. Thunder Skeptas. Thunder Electrics, my bad. Thunder Skeptas we have as well. But these are the Thunder Electrics. Damn. We have a human race right here. I did not know I still had these. These are nice. These are Adidas Human Race. This is like the terrain joints. Solar Human Race NMD terrain joints. We got a pair of, oh, all right, I was looking for these. These are the uh, LeBron Ones All-Star game, his first one ever. Now this is not the OG, they did retro these, I think like a year or two ago. And this is the retro version recently released. Real nice, life did not know I still had them. 
uh, but they're in there, you feel me? Personal package, personal gift from Adidas. Seeing crisscross applesauce right now to get comfortable. This is a gift from Adidas. These are the um, young ones. The, yeah, the young one, right? Yeah, the young one freezes. Um, I was really wanting these. I got them. Shout out to my man Andrew. Shout out to the family over at Adidas. This is one of my favorite out of that whole Dragon Ball Z pack. And it's just on ice right now because I don't want to wear them right now. I just, I just don't feel like it. I, I like them too much. I like the desktop feel. We got Air Force One IDs that I made a while back. Maybe two, three years ago. You know what I'm saying? On the back. Some, it's like, I forgot the, the it's, it's, it's like Japanese or I think. I thought I had the same. Oh, no, no, no. I put some, it's some like wording like love and love and fighting or something. It was some, some, some type of meaning behind it. I just can't remember. All right, guys. So we got a pair of Jordan 1s here. Jordan 1 bread toe. This shoe right here, man, it made a lot of y'all go crazy, man. I seen a mannequin get dropped off of these shoes. They were they were slamming mannequins, bro, back in the day. I remember when they first came out. Crazy. We have here a Reebok. It's the Georgetown joints. Classic. One of my first questions that I bought, like, while just doing the shoe tube, you know, YouTube stuff. This is one of the first question mids I bought. Quality was phenomenal. And it's funny, they just did the gridiron joints that look almost identical to these, but they're all suede. Dallas Cowboy. I wonder if these... Well, these were off of Georgetown. The ones that are other that are dropping now is because of the Dallas Cowboys, but something cool, you know what I'm saying? Um, Rothko's. There was a point in time when this was the swag, you know what I'm saying? I could probably still get away with this and still rock it, but I wouldn't right now. But this was like a little swag going on. People was rocking the, you know, the army boots when Kanye was doing. I had a pair of those. You know, they're still there. It's a Puma, the Archer. I think it's the Ralph Sampsons. The OGs, Ralph Sampson, real good quality. OG look, nice, nice look on a pair of pants and all that. Puma sent them things on over to you, boy. We got an OG box Nike, probably one of my oldest pairs. Jordan Six Low University Blue, dead stock. Um, probably still wearable some way. I don't know, but I won't risk it. OG card. I bought these from my boy C Hackett. I mean, it was a dude that he knew that was trying to get rid of some stuff because he needed a family emergency and something like that. And he had those and it was like OG classic, so I just I hopped on it. We got right here though. I don't know where the other one's at, but um, multicolor Nike Flynet Racer. It's somewhere, probably the box is probably somewhere in here. We got Curry's, Curry 3's, and this is like the premium version or something. It's all suede. I forgot the name of it. They had dropped them in this and then like also like in a tan color or something as well. The Adidas Arizona collab. 99 cent joints. I have another pair that they sent. They sent me the wrong size on one and I put the wrong size upstairs because it was like the nicest piece to have. Like the first pair of the 270s that released Tiger, like Tiger, Tiger colorway. I remember seeing actual pictures of this shoe and I was like, bro, when these come out, I have to get them. And these actually like, these right here, people still like want those. Nike. Oh, I remember these too. Me and Bull got these for a steal. Nike Zoom Tolaria Mid FK. $200 retail. I think me and Bull we went to some place and found them, or maybe I just found these for a steal for like 50 bucks. The retail was 200, but I got them for like the low low. I haven't worn them though, but they look, these still look tough. These still look tough. There's some more Tolarias in here that me and Bull scored on. I don't know where they at, but we'll find them. These are the 98, I believe the Gundam joints. No, no, these are the um, cone joints. These are the Nike Air Max 98 cones. Crazy colorway. I got a shirt that matches this so well that I just have not put out yet, but this is just phenomenal in my opinion. There's a pair of shoes in here that I hope I can find, bro, because I've been looking for them for quite some time. All right, we got, uh, let me see, uh, let's see what we got. We're going to move on. We're going to get to the bed a little later. We got here, this is one of my first Nike IDs I did. The Two Wild Tiger, Arachi, you know what I'm saying? Two Wild on the back, arachi out. I think I got three. Tiger on the back right there. Dope shoe. Damn. It smells like Papa House. It smells like, it smells like my old house. Like, like, like my room. It smells like my room back then. That smell like, ah, damn, that brought back memories. We got a Way to Wade. I think these are the, these are the fives. Yep, the fives, Way to Wade fives. Wade made some good shoes, bro. Like he had, he, the Way to Wade was a good thing. We, we see some Way to Wade's behind me too. Get to that in a few though. Jordan 4. This is the, the 2012 with the actual Jordan on the back. Jordan 4, old school, yellowed out. Old. Old looks, man. Space Jam 11 Lows. Oh, no, I'm not 11. Space Jam 11s with the 45. Um, 
the Cole's brother Tito got these from like a thrift store and gave them to me. I was gonna put them on like my car, but I just haven't done it yet. These are these powder blue threes, no. Nope. Jordan three free throw lines. You know what I'm saying? With the Nike Air on the back. I think I worn these probably once. Maybe I didn't. I probably can size eight. I don't even know if I wore these. I mean, they're laced up, but I don't know if I wore them. Probably just tried them on. So I guess I wore them in some shape or form. Ice cream, Bubba Chucks. This is the other colorway, the chili pepper or something. It was something like that. Another colorway. This is the second one of the Reebok question. My bad. The uh, the Reebok. These are the answers. The uh answer right answer um bbc collab that they did i like this one but the og one of that colorway was was dope more dope in my opinion we have right here the zig kinetica now i was talking about those zig kineticas in there that i didn't like right these are the ones i like these look dope and it's not this colorway because it's collaboration with bbc but because i have more of this same one upstairs that are not collabs this is the complex con collab that they did zig kinetica this is the army one well this was my least favorite out of the out of the two there's another one that i actually rocked and wore while i was out there really clean these are clean though they're clean but there's another colorway that beats that we have a this is a 19 jordan 19 took a picture with these at my me and nicole's last spot i remember these coming out not that long ago classic 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 the ogs man i want to get the og color the black and red version of that colorway but We'll just have to see. All right, moving along, we're getting there. Moab joint, seven and a half. This shoe is too, it's kind of too small. I'm just too, I, I be trying to stretch it out, bro. This shoe, finding this shoe was so hard. I found this shoe with Mike Rich. Me and Mike Rich did a vlog together, and I was able to find this one. This was, is it a seven and a half, or is it, it's an eight, my bad, it's an eight. These just run small. I'm forcing my foot into this shoe. I haven't worn it, though, for a long time, but I love the Moab joints, man. I love them. And this was $180. Got these from Jimmy Jazz, I believe. It was the last size available. And Mike Rich was so, so upset. He was a little salty. But, you know, he knew I had to get them. I think Mike ended up getting them anyway, though. He, he got a pair of the Moab already. But I remember that day we did a vlog together and I ended up getting them. We have a Jordan here. Obsidians. These are Obsidian 15 joints. I remember this shoe so well because, unfortunately, this was, the, this was the shoe I was grabbing when Hector passed away. This is the shoe actually when I was at Linux Mall when you called me. And this is the shoe I was grabbing. Obsidian 14, um, great shoe, but now has a bad memory with me, you feel me? We got here, size nine something. Obsidian, oh no, my bad, not Obsidian. The Jordan 15 in the black and red, the uh, the OG one, man. These are nice. Um, remember getting these and wearing these, the uh, sneaker con. I don't know where I hopped them, probably at Linux or something, but another shoe that people sleep on. People don't care about anything past the 14, really. I love these. I own three pairs of these. I own this one, this one. My bad, that's it, this one, this one, this one, this one, and another one we'll probably see a little bit later on. Old box is in. Woo! Jordan 10, Powder Blues. OG, you know what I'm saying? Not, not OG, but, you know, throwback. Was this 2013, maybe, or something like that? 2013, yeah. This dropped in 2014, I think, though, based upon the production date, it says December 2013, so 2014 when it released, probably. These are the old school, like the, you know, 2014, 15, Jordan boxes, they were so plain and just boring. Jordan 10 Dornbecker. I remember this one. This was uh, the kid was Daniel Pena. He suffered from uh, hemophilia, which is like a blood disorder or whatnot. And that's what the whole design and the blood and all that on the shoe was. I think these dropped alongside with the DB foams as well. I was unfortunate to get those, but I got these and they're dope. I mean, I like them and I'm happy to still have them. Dang, what's up? Paul George, the NASA joints. Clean. Just haven't worn them, but they're clean. These are the PG five, PG threes, NASA's. Eight and a half. Got these during Super Bowl week, I believe, in Atlanta when me and Harrison got those. I think they released them. I believe so. Maybe, maybe I'm tripping. No, those are all. Maybe those are all star. Maybe I grabbed those in Charlotte. I can't remember. Was it Charlotte or the Super Bowl? It was one or the other. They had a sneakers pop up in Atlanta, but then there was also stuff going on. I don't know. I can't remember. Because I got these around the same time, too, at Ah Manier. But, wait. No, this was Ah Manier, I think, in Atlanta. I can't remember, once again. But these are the... I um, can't remember. This It's like the OG colorway. It's like the first one that dropped. I can't remember the name of it, but I still got them. And, uh, yeah. 720s. Air Max 720 joints. All right. We got over here. Is this the, is this the tel Telerian? Yep. Hilarious. Me and Bull grabbed these shoes for like 30 bucks, man. Some crazy. $25, I think. Me and Bull got these for like 25 bucks at a Nike outlet store. 
we were going, I think we were driving to SneakerCon Charlotte. We were driving from Atlanta to Charlotte for a SneakerCon event. And we saw a Nike outlet store um, and we stopped there. It was the one that me and you went to when we went to the, when we recently went to the venue shop and we stopped at a Nike place. Mm -hmm. It was that one. Your outlets, man. This one's up north in a whole different area and I see a whole bunch of orange box. I was gonna get these a long time ago. I'm gonna find the tweet. Okay, so some of y'all not gonna like, y'all not gonna like these. I like it, the color. <laughs> So we just figured out $30 with an additional 30 on them. So we ran away with these, like. Air Force One, I um, uh, think this is a, um, is, is this an ID? I can't remember what this, Air Force One mid, Nike Lab, Nike Lab. This quality, nice quality Air Force One. And olive, we got double nickels, Jordan 10 double nickels, the 45, you know what I'm saying? Double nickel shawty on there. Dorn Becker pennies. This was uh, from Alejandro Munez. He has kidney disease, Air Max, Pid, uh, Air Max uh, Penny One. He had like the San Francisco on there. This is dope, Penny One, classic model. 3M'd out, you know what I'm saying? This is the DB Penny created by Alejandro Mun uh, Munoz. Age eight, has a diagnosed with kidney disease and his shoe was the Air Max Penny. Um, he loves playing football. He loves hanging uh, superheroes, his family and his friends. And he's a passionate 49ers fan, as you can see on this side of the shoe. He has the San Francisco 49ers. Shout out to Alejandro for having a classic model. Jordan 10 Shadow. Swayed it out. You know what I'm saying? Another banger. A lot of 10. Y'all see 10s, man. We got everything, man. We got all the numbers. Jordan 8 Take Flights. Sequoias. AKA the Sequoias that take flights. I think I got these from Fine Line. He shot a Fine Line in the building. Got these from him, I believe so. Another shoe that I forgot all about. Don't know where it was, but it was definitely, definitely an awesome colorway in my opinion. Take flight. Jordan 7 Raptors from back in 2000 and what's this? 2000, maybe in 13, 2012. It says August 12, uh, 2012 when it was production. So it's probably either late this late uh, 2012 or early 2013 on the Raptors. Jordan 7. Jordan 6 Infrared. This is not the one that recently came out. This is the one that came out in 2014, I'm guessing it looks like. It's yellow on the bottom. OVOs from Jordan Brand. OVO 8s, black. Jordan Brand sent, gave these to me. All-Star Weekend in LA. All-Star Weekend in LA. So I think that was like two, two years ago, maybe a year, yeah, probably two years ago. The white and the black. They got your boy, you know what I'm saying? Salutes to Jordan Brand. These are, gifts, these are like gifts to me from them. OVOs, eights. People don't pay that much respect on the OVOs uh, like that. They used to empty box because it's upstairs. Jordan 1, Spider Man, Dead Stock. Great movie, right, baby? Like the movie? Yeah, great movie. Dead Stock. I, don't, I just don't know. I'm just too scared to wear them. Just, I, just want, I want to have them like. I treated him like a collector's piece to me, honestly. Yes. All right, we're moving along, moving along. Jordan 7 Olympics, classic, 2012. Oh, it smells like my old house. 2012. Damn, smell, man. I need my mom to come smell that shit. The house don't smell like that no more. It's just an old smell. The gloves, black and white. The gloves, man. Gary Payton's. You already know what it is, man. OG, Jordan 6 Sport Blues, classic. These came out like what back in 2014, Man, six years ago. Now time flies. We got here Tiffany Dunk highs. You already know, man. Tiffany Dunk highs. I hit these. I hit. I don't know if I had like a a, a link, like an auto link pop up or something back then. It was some. We were doing some crazy stuff back then. I was able to get my hands on those. These are the the OG uh, Easy Power phases, I believe. So quality was on point. Get the OG colorway. You will pay thousands of dollars for those, bro. I, I think those are them, or maybe these are the cream ones. Like, was it two colorways? They drop a white one and then a cream one. I can't remember, chat. Comment section, let me know. It, it, was it like this one and then they dropped another one? I can't I can't remember. I really can't remember. Jordan 11, Legend Blue. Um, I got these at a, uh, at a um, Nike outlet store because the colors were slightly different. One was more yellow than the other. I ended up getting them for... I think Mike Rich told me about it. I got them for like, I don't know what it was. It was something about, they, they sold these for 170. Yeah, they were going for 170. They retail for way more than that. So 
So I got them for like a steal. I haven't worn them though. Now my boy Mike Rich posted on Instagram that there was some Levens over in Locust Grove for 170 right now um, at a Nike factory outlet. So we came in clutch, man, with the 11s. Oh, we got the Navy joints right here too. This ain't my size though. Uh, the Air Max Deluxe joints. Me and Bull caught these, I think, at Cream and VA. All right, next up, we got the Air Zoom Flight 96. Last time I talked about this shoe, I got it wrong. Penny Hardaway and Jason Kidd wore this shoe back in the Olympics, 1996 Olympics, um, but mainly Penny Hardaway. Penny Hardaway. Hey, man, stop crying, man. This puppy's trying to come over here. But these are old school one, man, old school model. I remember seeing these. I can't remember. I think I had, it, was at a Nike, it was at a Nike store or something or an outlet or something of that matter, and I had to pick them up. They were classic. I had to pick them up. We um, have over here as well. This is the one I actually like a lot out of the Zig Kinetica. This is the blue and white one. I like these one a lot. I actually wore this one during Complex Con and awesome. Two more rooms left, babe. Jordan won Rookie of the Year. Flat Toes, the better version. The one actually, you know, has some life into them. Jordan 9, Bentley Ellis. Dusty. Jordan 9, Bentley Ellis. Kobe One Pro Tros. Come on, man. All right, buddy. Kobe One Pro Tros on deck. You feel me? RIP Kobe. Hopefully, we get those Grinches. We really need those Grinches, man. Jordan One Gold Toes. Dead stock. Me and Nikki got those. You feel me? Did I get you a bring your pair back, babe, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got those during LA All Star Week. These are the sock darts. This guy, man. Sock darts, Nike sock darts. All these shoes are older than your life, bro. You wasn't even thought about back then. Pumas. I forgot the name of this one. Me and Chunky took a picture with these, though, back in the day. If you have a picture on IG, me and Chunky are rocking those. With the peacoat. We got the uh, Skeptas. These are the Thunder Skeptas. Skept Skept uh, Spectras. Thunder Spectras, my bad. We got some Skeptas coming out pretty soon. Patrick Ewing, OG Patrick Ewing's that I bought. When I say OG, not everything I meant like OG when it originally came out, but this is like when they were bringing back the Patrick Ewing's back in, what year was this one? Two, I don't remember what it was. It was a while back. I bought these like 2014 or something probably. And then we got the Air Bacons. Uh, these are the Tim Hardaway joints. Air Bacons, bro, classic. They changed it on the back and you say Nike, but then um, it kind of resembled like Ala, I believe, or it resembled Arabic writing, so they canceled that and they redid the shoe. If you're gonna do Bentley Ellis, you gotta also bring out, oh, these are not the Bentley, my bad. These are Jordan 8 Playoffs. Jordan 8 Playoffs, old school, old, older model. Not, not be quiet. Jordan 4 Toro Bravos. Got the other Toro Bravos over here. Get that. Could you try again? No, just leave us alone. Jordan 4 Toro Bravo. Jordan 1 Premieres, the Premier Highs. Great shoe to wear during Christmas and whatnot. It's like a cracked type of leather on it, something weird, something odd. Something different. I like these a lot though. Then we got right here, Jordan 3 Mochas. Mocha, Mocha, Mocha. We know what Mochas do nowadays. Mochas keep making people, keep people go crazy, man. These are the way to ways that I was telling you guys. These are the way to way threes. I believe these are the threes. I could be saying it wrong, but I believe it's the way to way threes. The Christmas joints. Amazing. Ugly looking shoe. Very ugly. Very, very ugly, but. Very awesome. It's, it's like the Grinch. It's like the Grinches. The Kobe Grinch is ugly. Not really. It's not ugly no more. It's beautiful looking to me. Wade of Wade 2 Christmas. Have a Nike box here. These are the Gundam 98 joints. The Gundam colorway of the 98s. We have a collab with. Uh, I just want, I don't, I don't want to look. I want to remember the name. He's always Jet Life. Jet Life. Jet Life. Um, currency. I believe this is a collab with Currency and Reebok. And it's cool because I don't know who was first, Nike or Reebok. I think it might have been Reebok. You have the stash pocket right here. You know what I'm saying? The whole tongue. You can unzip it, put your little stuff up in that thing, you feel me? And zip it up. And nobody knows nothing either. You feel me? Something else. Oh, jet life. Currency. Collab. Reebok. All right. Calabasa. Calabasas. Calabas. Calabasas. Easy power phase. Gray. 270s. Reacts, I like these a lot. Haven't worn them in a long time though. Jordan 10 Steels, Steel 10s. They're gonna start, re you're gonna start retro on these, pretty, all these shoes pretty soon too. I can already feel it. Jordan 17 Soul Flies, got these during All Star Weekend. Love them. I've worn them like once. I need to wear them more, really. Jordan 1 New Love Mids, caught these like what, two years ago? I think I was in London. I got them 
I was unable to bring the box back. I think I have the box somewhere or it's either smashed up. Air Tech Challenge 1s, the Air Tech Challenge, and the Hot Lava colorway. I think they re retro these like, like what, this year or last year or something like that? I didn't buy them though. Jordan 5, white metallics. Pristine condition still. Scared to wear them. But I will need to one day. A lot of these men, they're gonna have to make that two wild closets because I can't just have them forever. Like these powder blue threes right here, I have not worn them one time. And I had these since 2013. I think that's when they came out. Yeah, I think, well, 2014, it seems like. Dead stock. I had a pair of socks that went with these. I missed some um, dead stock socks. And there were a pair of socks that was sitting in my sock collection that just was like still in like the, the paper thing. Here we go. Calvin Bailey's, Jordan 9's, Bentley Ellis, Calvin Bailey. Don't got the Kilroy's, unfortunately, but good enough. The o, this is the other ones right there, the Reebok uh, Answers that came with BBC. Masters, yep. Jordan 12 Masters, me and Nicole have these. Shout out to Richie Rich. Richie Rich is the one that blessed me with these, man. These things were hotcakes back in the day when they originally released. People, people went crazy over them. Young ones, Braves colorway kind of like. The, uh, I think these are the original young ones that came out. The original colorway of the young ones that came out. And then we have a Jordan 9 Space Jam right there. Damn. All right, so we pretty much aimed it out. We have these little shoes right here. I'll go ahead and just show it to them. We got some Tims. These are my woof, Karma Loop Day Tims, bro. They never released this colorway again, bro. Like this, this colorway, I still got these. These are, I have, woof, these are amazing. I love this color they have. It's like a rust. They have not re-released this colorway in a very, very long time. And they're still in good condition. Tim's on deck. We got a pair of Jordans right here. Concords, just sitting. You know what I'm saying? Dead stock. I got a couple of these stocked up on them. I didn't even know those, that those were down here. These are the cream Ultra Boost. These went for a lot, actually, too. I'm like the wool cream joints. These went for a lot. I actually got those at Linux back before Linux became where you get shot at. You can go there. It was fabulous. You already know what those are. The sock, sock and the 22 Wilds. A pair, of Ace, pair, a pair of Chelsea's. If Nikki ever wants me to wear them, you know what I'm saying? I'll wear them. But she never really tells me. But she does want me to start dressing up more. So. I didn't even know you had those. Man, man, we took those pictures last year when I was at the fireplace, remember? For North School? Oh, yeah. Those are those. And then the last shoe is a Reebok. This is a uh, anniversary or something. They dropped them in this and then they dropped one like the Shaq version. It was like a Shaq and Allen Iverson anniversary or something of that matter. But yeah, level one completed, level two completed. All right, y'all, so now we got that out the way. We are now going to some of the heavy hitters. The heavy hitters in the collection, man. The heavy hitters, the rotationers, you know what I'm saying? We're going into the main closet. The main closet will have sneakers that pretty much I put in rotation. My first grab twos, there's no boxes. It's just straight drop fronts. Go and grab it, put it on the feet. You get the rotation, you keep it moving. This is where all my clothes is at. I look at a t-shirt, I look at a hoodie, I look at a jacket, look around, find a color, boom, do what I gotta do and go. A lot of bangers though right here, a lot of heat. A lot of my recent pickups is right here. So, let's get it out the way, man. They ride. All right, so take a look. I guess you could show them. This is all we're gonna do. A lot of these shoes were empty boxes and stuff and empty boxes upstairs. A lot of this stuff you see in here is gonna be stuff that I wear frequently as well or are in rotation or able to get grabbed at least pretty quick. So let's get straight into it, man. Well, oh, bless you, bless you. It's the dust, baby. We're not, we're not cold, we're not sick, guys. It's the dust, trust me. Some of these shoes got, not these, but the ones that we just touched. Jordan 1 Royal, what more can I say? You know what I'm saying? What come, Jordan 1 Royal, Jordan 1 Bread. Just rocked these yesterday. Jordan 1 Shadows. We're knocking out the top one since it's higher up. Jordan 1 Shadow on deck, you feel me? Got that. Jordan 1 4 Legend Blue, aka the Columbia 4. Classic. So me and Bull picked that one up together. Got the Jordan 1 Top 3. Shout out to Richie Rich on that one. Richie Rich, I ain't forget. Never forget what people, I never forget the shoes people looked out for me for, you feel me? Moving on down. We got the Kushwhackers, I believe it is. The Sockany. Kushwacker SD Grid, clean. Jordan 4 Pure Money Champ Sports sent this one out to your boy. Clean quality shoe. Got the LeBron 10s, Some, uh, Sunsets, Dolphins, aka, I haven't worn these enough. These are crazy though, phenomenal, I love it. They'll, they'll retro it one day and then I'll hate that I never worn the original one. Jordan 6 All-Star. Chameleons. 
we got the Air Presto 2s off white. Shout out to, oh no, wait, this ain't the one? Nah, it's the other one. So this the Presto 2s off white. I have an off white that is, has a little special memory to it. Jordan 11 Low, um, baby blues. Jordan 3, um, fire red. Jordan 3 fire red. Salutes to C Hackett. C Hackett helped me get those. Jordan 14s, Lowe's, Laney's. Jordan 4, um, Laser. This is me and Nikki's shoe right here. One of our shoes. I wore this shoe on like a date we had when we were taking her uh, graduation pictures. She probably don't remember. I remember though. I remember, and it's still funny. These shoes were so sticky. They're still sticky now. Like, these shoes had, a, like, bro, these would have been the best shoes to ball, and they're so damn sticky on the sole. Like, still. Laser 4s. We got the uh, Oreo 4s. Oh, shit. I've never seen it. Now I finally see it. Damn, the glitter stuff is happening. Wow. Holy crap. How do you get rid of the glitter? It's on my hands. I've never seen that happen in my shoes. I just see people talk about it. What the hell? There's glitter all on that shoe. Easy 500. This is the um the blush, I think. The blush joints. The blushes. Jordan 9 olives. Classic. Jordan 6. Jordan 6 Gatorade. Shout out to champs. Still in dead stock condition. I think just lacing them up. With the hat, you know what I'm saying? Go with it. That came with a container. I was in the uh, in the, the garage, like a whole container that came with it. Um, Adidas uh, slate or slate or something like that, or army slate or something. I think it was army slate. True Blue Threes. Everybody hated these at the same time. We loved the shoe, but we hated these were $225 with the Nike Air on the back. And this was the shoe that people really like bucked about, and Jordan Brand ended up fixing those. Nike Air prices on the back. They didn't let Jordan Brand do that no more. And Jordan Brand never released another shoe at 220 on the back after that. All right, we got here Jordan 1 Fly Knit Breads. Has like a little sizing fly knits. I've worn them a few times. Yeah, Yeezy 500 Silver Moons, I think, or something like that. This was a pre order. You had to buy this alongside with the Yeezy shorts and hoodie. I bought that while I was in Paris. And, uh, we had to wait like, a, like a, almost a year or some crazy shit. Uh, Jordan 13, he got games. Dirtied up. They might need to, they might need to get put down, you know, put down a little bit. Jordan 3, black cement. You know what I'm saying? Oh, with the Nike Air on the back, of course. I think I did a giveaway for these back in the day. We got Jordan 10 OVO. We got the... Jordan 1 Sale. I think it's the Sale. Yeah, it came with a pair of red laces also or something like that. One of my grails right here, the Jordan 13 Chutney. Jordan 13 Low Chutney. Jordan 18, I believe. White and uh, blue. The Jordan 1 All-Star. Chameleon Joints. Moving along. We're almost on that top row. Jordan 13, uh, Jordan 14, last shot. Uh, this is a Steph, uh, Steph Curry 10, I believe, 10 or 11, but I think it's a 10. Collaboration with Mach, Mach, I'm probably saying it wrong. I know Mach for many years, I always say his name wrong ever since I've known him, with the collaboration of Xbox. So Xbox sent me this shoe, that Mach or Mach, uh, Mache, I always say the name wrong. I, always say, I know exactly who the guy is. He's like one of the best designers of all time. He collaborated with this, with Xbox with this, and it was a big package. Shout out to Microsoft. Shout out to Mont. Shout out to us. Uh, also to Cousteau for making that happen. Even though Cousteau don't want to take credit, but I think Cousteau was one of the reasons why that ever happened. Space Jam 11s with the 45 on the back. Right there. We got Air Force Ones. Uh, the Special Force Highs, I think, or something like that. Camo joints. Those were big at one time. Very big. Air Force One Vaults. Shout out to Harrison Neville. I beat him in a game of rock, paper, scissors off the off-white joints, and I won those. For this weekend, I did a mystery box video where I let all of the people here pick out some stuff for the mystery Go box. watch that video, it'll be down below. And so, Tony decided throughout the video, I don't, <laughs> he decided to pick his own size for whatever the reason. Mess. And so what we're gonna do now is, for the most part with these mystery boxes, I sell most of the stuff that's not my size. And for this, Tony and I are gonna do a nice old-fashioned game of rock, paper, scissors, 
If I win, I get to keep them and sell them on my site. If he wins, he gets the shoes free. It's it's a risk. I've done a video previously on my channel but, where I won Jordan 1 Unions for playing rock, paper, scissors. But if I would have lost, I would have paid $1,400 resale. So that would have been a fat L. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, I didn't, I didn't right, here we go, here we go. Hold on, wait, wait, hold on. This is the last one. It's one to one right now. And if I win, I get to keep these. If he wins, he gets to shoot for free. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah! You won the UFC! What a fat L. Jordan 6 Gatorades. Huge shout out to Fresco. Shout out to Stadium Goods. Hooking your boy up on a deal on those right there. I got a good deal on those. And I think it was also because of the uh, DJ also hooked me up with and helped it out with that. Classic right here. Supreme foam posit with the soul shield sealed on soul shield still on there. I think I paid like six hundred dollars for them joints. Back in the day, me and Bull Bull got the black pair, I got the red pair. Uh, Adidas ADV uh, 9116. Shout out to Andrew, one of the first shoes that Adidas ever sent to me. Um, this half, this shoe was sent to me like the day after, the day like a week after my grandfather passed away, man. And it was just a lot, you know, having Adidas reach out and kind of, you know, just give me something to be happy about at that time. Off White, Hollow's Eve, you feel me? We got the Vapor Max, Air, Air Vapor Max Pluses. These, these are hard to wear. Collaboration with Adidas on the Adidas all uh, Adidas um, all time all timers. I don't know what the name of this model is though. This is like a, not a saying that Nisa all timers. Air Maestro Air Maestro twos, I believe so. Is Air, you seen the box downstairs? Nike Air Maestro twos, I think. This is a Kif collab. This is the shoe that <clears throat> Scotty Pippen wore. You got right here Jordan Eleven Low Cherry. Got the Jordan 14 Candy Cane. Still in dead stock condition. You feel me? Ain't ready yet, but it'll be ready when it's ready. Jordan 13 Cherries. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my brother John Geiger. Geiger ones, the first ones. We got these in Miami. Salute to John Geiger for always blessing your boy, keeping me up to date. 97 bullets, silver bullets right here. Bam. I don't know if someone helped me with those or not. I can't remember. Vapor Max is like the OG Vapor Max, like the first one. I think this is the first one. This, is, I mean, this might be the second one. I think the first one was the Asphalt. No, those might be the Asphalt. I can't remember in all honesty on that one, but it was it was one of the first, if not the second. We have here Fire Red 4s. This is the 2012 one. Jordan on the back. Air Force uh, Air Force 2s, Supreme collaboration. This shoe like dropped. It was a brick. It was a super brick. Jordan 7 hair. I mentioned Skepta earlier. Air Max 97 Skeptas collaboration. We have the Jordan 12 French blue right here. And then this shoe up here, I don't know what I don't know where that's at. So it is what it is. We'll figure that one out later. We, this guy, he just wants to be wherever we're at. So um, yeah, forgive us. We're gonna do this with him. Jor Jordan 8 Aqua. Okay, got it? You see it good, babe? Good? Okay. Or Jordan 8 Aqua. Jordan 4 Winterized. Um, this is a sample of the Puma Future Rider, I want to say. This is the Future Rider, I believe so. Jordan 1, UNC to Chicago. Puma Boots. I don't know what these are, but these will kick a, kick a nigga chest in and crack all his skulls. The Geiger 2s, uh, I believe. The Geiger 0, no, the 003s. Geiger 3s. The Beeline Thames BBC collaboration with Timberland. Just recently got those. These are like a lot of new shoes, but some are old also, like this one. This is Supreme 98 collab with uh, Air Max 98 collab with Supreme. Huge shout out to Hess Kicks for this one for blessing me with your blessing your boy. This is the Saucony, I want to say 9,000, 6,000, one of them. Scoops pack. Uh, they released this one. There's another Scoops pack in here somewhere. I don't know where it's at, but they released this one. This is the mint chocolate or mint ice cream or something of that matter even has a little spoons right there then they have the jordan 15 i want to say these are the 15s 15 or 16 trophy rooms i want to say the 15s though i could be wrong of course once again another version this is like a sample of my shoe when it was in the process of making it recently new shoe that i wear a lot just like running and like you know just casual chill is the uh adidas 2k zx 2k boost i like these a lot so you know, it's something, something. We're gonna move over here now. Start on these bottom rows. 
and work our way around, man. Let's rock. All right, guys, here we go. First things first. Jordan won Chicago, the OG. Well, not the OG, but yeah, just the OG colorway. You know, all these Chicago's that come out now. I think I got these from Fine Line back in the day. I can't really remember 100% sure on that one, but salutes to him regardless, you know what I'm saying? Um, Jordan 13 low, navies. This might be the Midnight Navy, I think, I forgot. This was a retro of an old school model that I released back in like 98 or something like that. We have the Flints. These are the Flints from 2012 though. These are not the new Flints that recently came out. It's an older Flint in there. We have the recent. Okay, we got a Bread 13 and we got another Bread 13. I can't tell which one's which. This one got a whole bunch of hair on it, god damn. Oh nah, this is the, this is the newer, mm -hmm. the, this is the more recent Bread 13. This is the old Bread 13. I'm, 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 that's how I feel right now. The one's more reflective. Yeah, this one, will, one does this. The, yeah, I think this is the newer one because that old one don't have any reflection. And then based upon this is way, this is like frosted, so it's older. So this is the new 2000, like what? Oh no, this is the old one. The hell? Damn, this one's dirty. I gotta clean it. What the hell is foggy and everything? This is the 2017 one. I gotta clean these. This is the 2012 one. How is it fog? How is it foggy already? I'm a little upset, Jordan Brand. What's going on, man? Damn. All right. Well, yeah. Bread 13 from 2017, I think. Taxi 12s. These are the Taxi 12s from 2013, I guess. 14. One the other. We got a Yeezy um, 700 uh, Mauve. Got right here the Off White. Um, Vapor Max, this is what I was telling you about. Salutes to Chunky for biting and destroying this off-white tag when he was a puppy. He destroyed it, you know what I'm saying? And then we got right here, Yeezy 350 Pirate Black. This is the version two. This is the one, this is the famous Yeezy in the um, cleaning video I did where I was Dr. Gillespie and I, you know, one of my biggest videos of all time. This is a very bad problem in the shoe community. Oh my, in there. oh my god. Oh my god. You let it sit and marinate in there, John. Focus on the shoes. Focus on the shoes, John. They're there. This is straight Georgia. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh my god. Ah! I fucking oh my my Yeezys are gone. <laughs> That's the shoe that I ended up sliding in the mud with and it's still got mud on it to this day. Take flight fives, I think, right? The take flight fives or the, the, the premium fives or something like that. I ended up getting these for like two hundred dollars because they were on sale on like a they were at like a um, outlet or something of that matter. Yeezy 350 V2 cream joints, good condition. A little yellowing on the bottom, but it is what it is. That's what happens. We have uh, Yeezy 350 V2s, and I forgot the color the colorway they gave this one. It was like a, it was like a blue tint. Blue tints. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate the blue tint joints. You have those? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, that's how you know. Another. What? Easy, Easy 350 V2. Um, what's the one this is called? But we have this one together, right? Is this the? Yeah, I think they're also called like Oreos. Nah, nah, nah. These ain't the Oreo. These are like the creams or something. I forgot the name. They released these with like three different colorways: cream, olive, and or something of that matter. One of my favorite collaborations is the Concept Nike SB Dunk Ugly Christmas Sweater. Insane. Still wear it. Still love it. I hit on it. Concepts collab. Awesome. Um, human race, I think, uh, so who's the DJ on this one? I think DJ got this one for me from Complex Con or something. Gave me a good deal. I think he gave me probably like retail or something for that shoe. So who's the DJ on that? We have another off-white. This is the off-white, um, ore, golden ore or something of that matter. I loved it. I, I was so hyped to get this shoe because of the colorway and it being the Air Max. You know what I'm saying? Awesome. You got some more shoes up there. Where? Oh. Man, this actually, I need to give these away, man. Someone gave me these to give these away. My man Kelly, these are LeBron 9 South Beaches. I need to give these away. Some way, somehow. If I just put them on the website, and whoever pays for them, you can have them. Maybe that's the best way to give them away. Free shipping or something like that. I'll, I'll figure it I'll figure it out. If, it's, if, it, if you're watching this video, check. It might be up there, it might not. Um, Air Max Plus up here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we got... Hardens, I think it's a Harden 2's Pink Salmon or something like that. Harden 2. LeBron 1 Vachetta Tans. These released during All-Star Weekend at New Orleans and it was kind of like showing 
paying some sort of tribute or trying to look very similar to the original All Stars that we later on got and are in, we're in that room. You know what I'm saying? We have Off White. Um, I forgot the name of this one. Was it like the Hyper Dunk? I think the Off White Hyper Dunk. Double laced them up. Shoes are great. The ball in. Can't lie. Um, and they were like the cheapest one at the time, and I wanted some Off Whites. Got those in Australia for like like probably like fifty to hundred dollars over retail. We have the Travis Scott Fours Cactus Jacks. I remember Soul Play got these crazy 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 just to see them like their growth from you know when they got them originally insane we got yeezys yeezy zebras i don't remember showing them in there upstairs i have another pair of yeezy zebras dead stock that i had got in paris remember when i found we found them at sitting at that store mm -hmm. yeah zebras gatorade ones recently just wore these actually did a picture on my instagram go hit that like on that if you can but the gatorade ones with the towel actually i think i got these also I might actually got these from Fresco and them at Stadium Goods. I could be wrong. I can't remember. I think it was those though. I don't know. They were they were going for a lot. They going, they probably still go for a lot now. Jordan Three UNC, one of the best shoes that released. Was it was this last year? Or was it this year? This was this might have came out this year. I think this came out in March this year. One of the best shoes in my opinion releasing this year. We have a uh, Yeezy 350 V2. This is the um, it's like the something I can't. Land, landmark, land, Lundmark or something like that. Jordan 1, can't remember this one either. This was like the Jordan 1 uh, released during All-Star Weekend in 2019. The, not the Hyper Crimson's, that was the other one. This was the green, aqua green, I can't remember, aqua green, green or something of that matter. We have the Crocus Reebok Question, um, stickers and stuff collaboration. Kind of like featured a Crocus plant. It was, but it's it's a Lakers, bro. It was called, it was dubbed the Lakers. We got question Lakers. We got over here, we got down here, the Jordan 1 Midnight Navies. Metallic Navies, man, that's not Midnight Navies. Metallic Navies, classic, OG 1985 colorway brought back. I think these are all empty though. These are all, like these are, yeah, these are all in there, but I'll check to make sure. Like for instance, you're right, like on this one, a night jogger. Check it out, bam. Night jogger. Yeah. All right, moving a little, moving on up. Got a pair of Jordan 1 black toes. Think that uh, Jordan Brand actually sent these off to me. Salutes to Jordan Brand. Black toes. Got, I think these are the breads. Easy 350 V2 breads. They recently retro these this year. I didn't hit, unfortunately. We got the Air Max 93s. These are called, these are the size, uh, size collab. Size and Nike collab on the Nike uh, 93s for the Hornets. These was like a, this was a European release. It never came over to the U.S., but it was about the about the actual Hornets. I think them coming back to Charlotte or something of that matter. Jordan 9 Cool Gray. I got these from Round Two for like a decent price. Shout out to Kais for making that happen. You know what I'm saying? Have to hook up. Jordan 10 Infrared. Probably worn it once. Jordan 10 Infrared. Jordan, Jordan, I'm um, a Yeezy 350 V2. Um, clays, I think, right? The clays? The clays, I think. I can't remember. The clays or the salmons or something of that matter. Ye Yeezy 350 V2 Beluga 2.0s. We got another pair of He Got Games. I think these are the ones that recently released. Yeah, this is the ones that recently released right here. He Got Games. All right, we're getting in there, man. Air Force One, no, Air Force Two. Um, Just Dawn mixture. It's actually like the Just Dawn Air Force. It has mixtures of the Air Force One, the Air Force Two, and I think the Air Force Three or something like that. You can see it. It was a Complex Con exclusive at first, and later on it dropped. I think as a, like a regular GR. I haven't worn this one at all. Shout, shout out to DJ. I think DJ actually grabbed these for me while he was out there. Salutes to DJ once again, and back to back with another DJ salutes was a pair of the Jordan Thirteen. Um, uh, this is this is a. Uh, second model like the jordan 13 was it the stealths i can't remember this one i forgot this is a, this is a classic like this model has came out before but it's the jordan 13 that came out and uh dj got me these like for below retail so forgot the name of them i think this is the jordan 13 stealth i could be wrong if i can remember i'll try to name some of them these shoes like go back when i'm editing and like put the, the real name if i messed up air maestro twos the kip collab this is the red version Scotty Pippen joints I was telling y'all about. The box y'all saw in the garage. That's them. Another big time Saucony collab, the 9000 Packers collab with the Snow Beach. Packers and Saucony's collab, Snow Beach. These were going for crazy prices back when they originally released. 
back when Sakani was just killing it. Collabs were just killing it. Before Nike drowned it out and Jordan Brand drowned it all the collabs. But uh, Sakani was killing it. LeBron 15s. I think uh, um, One Legged Lister salutes to you, brother. I think you got me these. Uh, ended up getting me those. These were, these were like a special release. That's why he ended up being able to grab them for me. And, and I got them. Shout out to One Legged Lister. Hope you've been doing good, brother. Hope the family's doing good. Jordan 4 Cool Gray. You know what I'm saying? Damn, the wing is getting broken on this thing. Jordan 4 Cool Gray. You know what I'm saying? Happy to see these. Looking forward to the four, to the threes of releasing next year. We got the LeBron 10 Scooby Doos. Hazelnuts, aka. Shout out to my man. I think I got these from my man, Sean. He sold these to me for $200. It had no box, but it was like in dead stock condition. And it still is because I haven't worn it. So, yeah, shout out to Sean. And then underneath that, at the bottom, we have a pair of Jordan 5 Metallics. We got the Air Money, I think these are the Air Money Raids or something like that, or something Air Raid Money. I remember when these back, when these originally came out, just for the street. Air More Money. Yeah. There are more monies. They dropped them in like different, they went overboard with it. At first it was dope. Still is a dope shoe, but they just like went over with all like the money currencies. They did like every single damn country. Oh my God, this is really tough. We got the, okay, we're gonna take these off. We got the off-white from the 10, the blazer, the OG off-white blazer, man. I actually hit on those. That's the last shoe that I hit on from Nike, honestly. I don't, like, I, real talk, I haven't hit on the Nike shoe and I've tried a lot. Yeezy, um, phone posit, solars. I got like the little OG lace uh, lock and I did some like the laces and stuff like that. You know, added some accessories to it. Jordan 7 Bordeaux. We got here the um, Steph Curry 10 China. It was a pretty real uh, limited release. Alien Nut Sacks. These are like the, I forgot the name of these. They're, they they got the Jason Kidd thing on them. These were, we, me and Bull were going crazy after trying to find these in, on uh, All-Star Weekend when we hit. And now I like, look at it now, like, damn, that was like a lot of money. They're cool. They're different, though. Shrimp Scampi, Sockinies, clean model. Still got them. We have the little Laney Fives right here. Bring these back, Jordan Brand, for us. Bring them back. I double up on them. Laney Fives. We got the Puma, Kiff, Ronnie Five collab on the sakura 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 it's a plant from japan a japanese uh, tree i think these are the uh take flight or the flight jacket jordan sixes a, a, a jacket that jordan brand that jordan won worn on saturday night live he made it off of a shoe the air max one og and the you know, regular you got right here the psg two um are these, are these these might be the ones Paul George one, I think, and this is like, I forgot the Shining Light, or Shining Light was the name of this one. I, mean, I think me and Bull actually hit on these out here in Atlanta when he was visiting one day. We got Jordan 12 flu game pair of Sockinis that I always loved. I seen them when they were doing, showing them as samples and I ended up getting them. We got a pair of Jordan 11 Lowe's, snake skins, navy joints. Shout out to my man T. Blake for this one. Presto Highs acronym collab. Sockinis Wheats, I think, are the coffees or something like that. Got these out in Germany. Pigeon Black Dunks, still a dead stock. Got these in Germany during the sneaker con. Unite Threes. Jordan, I mean, uh, Air Force 197 Seoul or Korea joints. We got the Jordan 14 um, Seamless uh, uh, Black Toes. Jordan 14 Black Toes. Got the Jordan 9 Barons. These are the ones you bought and it came in a black bag. You didn't know which one you were getting. And the tan one was a special one. This was like the more regular one. Jordan 5 Grapes. We need those with the air on the back. Jordan 6 Infrareds. These are the older versions. We need these but two for that Nike on the back. These are the recent Jordan 6 Black Infrared right here. Nike Air on the back. We got the Jordan 2 Just Dons Pinks. We got the Bo Jackson Atlanta Deadstock. Air Up Tempo Atlanta joints. Probably one once. AKA the Ant Bed Stoppers. 
as Mike Rich would say, how many more left? One more. Let's go. Ah. Okay, so you guys made it to the garage. You made it through the loft. You made it through the master bedroom. You made it out of wait, wait, wait. yeah, the, the garage, the loft, the guest bedroom, the master bedroom. Now it's time to come up, come up here, man. You feel me? Come up to the main, the main layer, the studio. You feel me? The two wild studio. The two wild studio is pretty much consistent of the most recent of the recent. You feel me? Once I get a shoe in, do the unboxing, do the reviews. You know, it's pretty much up here. A lot of these shoes too are also sneakers that, you know, end up getting in the rotation as well because they were just recently picked up and I can grab them and go and, and rock them. You know, like for instance, right here we got Flu Game 12, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Jubilees are just sitting here right now, you know what I'm saying? I gotta figure out, well, am, I, am, I, am, I, am I gonna put them up here? Or am I gonna put them on the, the, the couch or can't take them downstairs? It, this is kind of like where everything, this is the first station. And for that reasoning, a lot of bangers are up here. So let's go ahead and wrap this thing up and let's get it popping, man. Last but not least, top flow, the studio. All right, guys, if you made it this far, I appreciate you. We are here at the final level of the room. These are fakes. I did a video on these, these are fake. So you don't have to ask about that. That's Kind of my collection in my opinion. This doesn't have nothing to do with it. We got these two shoes from Reebok. They sent over some classics. I don't even know the name of them, but they're cool. I have yet to wear them though. So salute to Reebok. Uh, Adidas Superstar, 100th anniversary, not 100th, like 20th, 30th anniversary. Hold on, it says it right here on the side. 50 years, 50th anniversary of the Superstar. That was a, a dope package they sent me. Whew. Okay, we have the, um, I run in these, man. DMX, DMXS or something of that matter. Nike, React, Element, 55, the DNA joint. All right, Jordan 11. Alexa, turn on lamps. Jordan 11 bread. The one that recently released, like what, last year, I think. Right here goes my Wave Runners. We have Wave Runners on the feet. These go right here, but they're not here now. My Sockany collab once again. Chinatown Market collaboration with Puma. Chinatown Market, basketball to go with it. Shout out to Staple for this. They sent this over, a special box edition. The Nike SB uh, Pigeon, Panda Pigeon, you know what I'm saying? And this is the special edition one with a special edition box. The other one's in there, it has like a little, little stamp in there, so it's a little special edition stamp. We have the Yeezy 300 V2, uh, V2. The three statics and the black joints. Uh, forgot the geos, I think, or something like that. I forgot the name of them. We got those the Yeezy 500s black. Um, I forgot the nickname they had, but they're black. Yeezy 3 380 missed. Got them as well. We got the uh, Adidas 4D Prime, the 4D joints. These are recently new. I like these a lot. Very comfortable, chilling in, you know. Salutes to Adidas for sending that. Or actually, this is a Champ Sports thing. Salutes to Champ Sports. Yeezy Quantum basketballs. Paul. No more pauses in 2021. Yeezy 500 High. The slave joints. John Geiger's. Black. Salutes to John Geiger. This guy's in my way, but. You just want to be in the way, huh? A sample of a sample. It might come out, it may not. I don't know. Stop asking questions. Just stay tuned. I don't know what the name of this shoe is. The network sent me this shoe. It is what it is. Acid Drops. Jordan 4 PSGs, Jordan 1 Lucky Greens. All right, guys, so we turned the lights because we didn't like how it was looking. Lucky Green 1s, PSG 4s, Red 4s that recently released with the Nike here on the back, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, that's that. We got right here the Jordan 5 Fire Reds, recent ones with the Nike here on the back. The Jordan 6 Maroons with the Nike here on the back. The uh, Sean Witherspoon Air Max 197s. The John Geigers again with the cream, you know, salutes to John Geiger, cream on cream with the Jordan 4 off whites. Salutes to Tito for looking, hooking your boy up. He cracked my head a little bit, but it's all love, you know what I'm saying? The Jordan 1 Biohacks, I think I just talked about them, I don't know. If not, it is what it is. Jordan 1 Biohacks. Jordan 3 uh, Laser Orange, I think these are the Laser Orange joints. Jordan 13 Flints. Jordan 11 Concords. Jordan 4 White Cements, Nike Air on the back. Travis Scott Air Force Ones. This is the sale version, the cream version, not the not the all white, not the all white ones. Jordan Six DMP. Jordan, I think it said 15. PSNY Public School New York. Adidas uh, Continental Arizona collab. Serta, Serta collab with um, DJ Clark Kent. It's like a pillow, it's a shoe bed, shoe made out of the bed. All right, we got right here. Jordan Three Katrinas. Nike ISPAs, 720s, I think, or something like that. Jordan 1 tie-dyes. I think, I think the homegirl Jazzy said she'll take those off me if I ever change, change my mind. 
the Rue collab with Puma. Final round, fight. All right. Adidas, human race, all white. Midnight Navy ones, recently released these. Midnight Navy ones, Japan ones. Jordan one mochas, recently released. Jordan five off white, dead stock. eBay pickup recently. Yeezy 350 V2 carbons, dead stock. Just recently picked these up. Jordan one uh, black metallics. Y'all know those just came out. Here's the other ones that I showed y'all earlier, the Arizona joints. Flint 13s, I have a double up pair. That's the same one from over there, but another pair. At most, uh, at most Air Max, um, this is Air Max 2, Air Max 2 Lite. Here's a zebra, the extra zebra that I got from in Paris. We actually bumped into an incident today with some hookers. So we're going at 4.30 now, right? Before our last day in Paris, I wanted to bring to you guys. So yeah, guys, we are in size question. I just picked up my pair early. They have the Easy 352 Zebra, and it was sitting in multiple sizes. We know they're going to be sitting. They're going to be pretty easy to get your hands on, but they do have them out here in Paris early, and we're in size question. You shot at them. This is my second time being here. Jordan 1 shattered backboard, what, 3.0, 4.0, 5? How many goddamn 5? How many .0s are you going to give us? Nike, we got them all. Got some LeBron. LeBron All-Star 7s. Man, I got to ask a question. Who who on YouTube got it like this, man? Because I'm bucking now. Y'all been asking for this collection video for years. We here, man. LeBron uh, 7 red carpet, man. Three box Bubba Chuck, man. The versatility. The versatility, baby. Another pair of bread 11s. Head stock, just in case I need to get one dirty. You know what I'm saying? No double ups might have to go. Jordan 5 Michigan's, in the inspired pack. If you reacting to this, man, let me know. Jordan 4 top threes. I like, I, the, yeah, the top threes. I think these are the top threes. The what, I think they're the what, that's my bad. The what does, I think. Puma Clyde, Clyde Pros. These are new, these just recently dropped. Puma, uh, Kyle Kuzma joints. Jordan 13 Hyper Royal, we just dropped. Jordan 14. Reverse Ferrari, Jordan 1, LA to UNC, Lakers to Chicago. Jordan 1, Hyper Royal, Hyper Hyper Royal, Hyper Blue, right? Game Royals. It's a thousand different type of Royals and getting Hypers and all that. Another Omni 1, that's dead stop. Human Made Love, you know what I'm saying? Human, I got these out there in Arizona. When I was out there, salute to Steve and them. Uh, Fearless Ones, these that are the Ninja Collab, Ninja and Adidas that I got recently, that I got a per personal letter, letter, uh, letter from, from the man himself, Ninja, salutes to him. Jordan 5 alternate grape. Chino's trying to figure out what we doing, man. Jordan, uh, LeBron 7 Fairfax. Jordan 4 black cat. Jordan 1 uh, satin snake. Kais, man, you wanted this, Kais. Kais, bull, y'all been asking for it. Here it is, man. Jordan 3 safari pack, or what your animal pack. Y'all been asking for it for years. Uh, Reebok question low um, oatmeal. It's finally here. Air Max 90. Uh, OG infrared. 91, I think. Or not. Air Max. It says Air Max 3. I thought it was Air Max 90. I guess. Uh, the Elf Clyde Pros. I recently just did these. Reebok LA joints. The Kobe's. The Reebok question Kobe's. Jordan 4 Fire Red. And another Jordan 4, Fire Red. Tony D, Two Wilds. Oh no. Last but not least, Nike Air Fear Guy. This is the Tony D, Two Wilds entire sneaker collection. Yeah. I brought it all out. Nothing hidden, baby. Ugh. Well, he was kind of, he licked me on my list, man. <laughs> Ain't even move, man. All right, we're done. All right, guys, so there's three shoes that I forgot to put in, so I'm gonna put these in before we end the video off. That being one, the new balance. This is the uh, 574. And this was a part of the, is another Kawhi Leonard like collaboration piece. We also have here another shoe. Now this one is pretty expensive, man, but it's dope. 
the Pierre Moss collab right here. Reebok, Pierre Moss. Now I think Pierre Moss is like done, is like now signed with Reebok or something as one of the big time designers. So he has like a full on now like just like job with them. So salutes to him after these mini collabs. This thing retail for like I think $200. And then last but not least, the one that I really forgot about that I'm upset I forgot about is my Nike SB Dunk Purple Lobster Dead Stock. You know what I'm saying? These are super clean, man. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys hit that like button. I hope you guys share this video. I hope you guys comment, tweet it, do all you can do, man. Check out the link down below in the description if you guys see something you like. Feel free to email me if there's something you see and you're curious to know, hey, Tony, are you letting these go? Shoot me an offer. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we can work something out. I got plenty of shoes, as you can see. So I ain't really got much of a problem parting with them, man. I got 2021 right in front of me. Tons of pickups coming in. We're going to be going right back into it, man. I'm looking forward to 2021. I want to say thank you guys for all the love and support. You guys are one of, you guys like are the main reason. You know what I'm saying? My work and you guys' support are the reason why I have this collection that I have. And I'm at where I'm at. 2019 was a tough year. 2019, Bo, however, was a decent year. 2020 was better in all shapes and forms, man. The views, the subs, the, the, the likes, the comments, everything, man. It was better than 2019 and it was because of you guys. The Two Wild Nation, the Two Wild Crew is stronger than ever, man. And I wanna say to you guys, thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, 2021 is gonna be lit. We're gonna have a wedding coming out soon. Me and Nikki gonna get the channel pack popping. Twitch is already popping. The Two Wild for TV channel is already popping. Click the links down below in the description and go and sub up, check them out, and stay tuned, guys. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I'm gonna see y'all in the next one, man. We got bangers behind me that I gotta unbox. So next week, we right back at it again, man. I love y'all. I will see y'all in the next one. It's your boy, Tony D2Wild. I'm checking in. I'm checking out.